Welcome back to Shaky Cam Productions. Today what we're working on is the battery tray or battery box. And we're going to be using aluminum to create a top. A lot of guys build battery boxes. Here at Good Enough Garage we build battery trays, maybe with lids on them. Now, yes, this battery needs to be enclosed at some point, but for the test run and just to use it as a prototype, I'm going to just make a lid for it because I have to establish height, for example. And this is one of the six slave BMS modules for battery management. And this adds to the height. So I'm eyeballing that as about an extra inch. So the lid has to go an inch above the battery trays and working with smaller pieces one it's cheaper the mistakes are less costly but i will make a lid or have one made professionally because i want some bendability in it kind of have a lip all the way around but anyway right now i just wanted to show you what i'm going to be working on and just mention the cost of this aluminum this is the bendable aluminum so it's not the 60 60 as they told me because that stuff you can't bend this stuff you can these are about 30 inches by 10 inches wide 45 dollars a piece these days this is in 2023 and uh yeah so 90 bucks for those pieces i'm going to uh just mount those on top and next video you should see what it looks like So yes, guys, this means a lot of wax on, wax off. Basically, I have to take off the six battery modules, lay them out on this plate so I can get the holes aligned because these two aluminum plates will be on top of these batteries, but they will be bolted down. And as far as design, I like it, but I don't like it. Um, I prefer to have brackets that don't rely on other components for instance this inverter bracket anchors directly to the frame and is completely free of other components but my battery charger and dc dc converter will lay on top of the plates that lay on top of the battery tray so i don't like that because it's added weight i'm sure it's pretty insignificant compared to the batteries but i don't like it because it's a it's a tray or a bracket on top of another bracket but then i like it because i don't need to weld anything and cut up more angle iron or square tubing and make another bracket and the point is that yes you will remove put on <clears throat> remove again a bunch of components and it is a workout but you get to skip leg day okay so I have the battery lid battery plate if you will installed and i'm very happy with it i gave myself plenty of clearance over the slave bms modules there so there's i can probably put my thumb in there not sure i will even use bms to start with in my phase one as i call it but i wanted to make a provision for them for later so what we have on top here is now a game of will it reach okay you can see a lot of orange here high voltage wiring that needs to be routed and i'm trying to decide what will dictate where i actually bolt down the chevy volt charger and a chevy volt dc dc converter um, my OCD is struggling with having to mount the DC-DC converter slightly to the left of center 
uh, because if I, let's see if I can move it one-handed. If I have it centered, if you will, I don't like how this plug hangs off of the battery lid. And so I don't like having this plug hang off the edge like that. Now this may not be what the final looks like, but still that bothers me a bit. And I'm also trying to see if I have the orange high voltage cables dictate where things go, or if I have things like the water pump and all this routing here dictate where they actually end up. But, you know, you take one step forwards, two steps back, and it's a lot of doing and undoing. Um, just something I want to mention is that this charger is unique in the sense that it will charge the high voltage battery pack, with these cables here, but also it charges the regular car battery at the same time. which is really neat. So this is just your red and black that will run to the uh, regular car battery that will sit here in the standard location. Also check this out. I'm just going to start off by charging with regular 120 volts here. Actually in my garage I have a outlet that is uh, 120 volts but 20 amps rather than the regular uh, 15 amps. So I might try that. I think the software for this charger is configurable that I can tell it how many amps it should pull but just want to do a quick walk around and show you how all this went and uh, I'm quite happy with it these uh, bolts here studs sticking out they're going to get acorn nuts so that's going to look pretty nice and I will have um, spacers on here. I think I bought something like one and a half inch or two inch spacers, quarter inch inside diameter and like half inch outside diameter. They're going to create these pedestals. So this plate, it's bolted down. Each plate is bolted down with six screws, uh, two on either end and two in the middle. And all of them will have these uh, spacers underneath to serve as pedestals to make sure this is nice and solid and rigid. So yeah, another day, little progress, little by little, and uh, I can't wait to uh, do some routing. Um, this is the BMW safety box, as they call it. That box lives inside the BMW battery pack, and uh, I hope to use it uh, in its uh, native shape, format, whatever, configuration, and just control it with software that I think Damien put up on uh, GitHub. And that would save me a, a big headache from having to uh, sort of rewire it and yank out the circuit board out of it and do my own uh, uh, high voltage shunt in there. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this. I would love to find a place that sells these connectors so I can make some of my own high voltage wires, but I don't know where I can get them. I might eliminate this plug and then just route these cables directly to the inverter. And this is kind of the only sketchy part that I can see so far um, is tapping in there and sort of bypassing the standard uh, input like it was in the Lexus. But other guys have done it, so I'm sure I'll figure it out. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.